everyone. I'm going to be doing a granny square tutorial today. My mom called and asked if I can do a video on a granny square so she can show a friend of hers how to make one. I'm going to need a pair of scissors, a needle to tuck in the thread or the yarn. I'm going to use a size J hook and I'm also going to be using two different colors. I'm going to start with the green. I need to make my slip knot so I grab the yarn in my hands. I'm going to twist and pull the longer piece through. My slip knot is made. Pull it tight. And then to make the granny square, you want to chain four. So there's one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So slip stitch to the first one, pull through, pull through the second. So here's your ring. Next I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do two double crochets into the center. So two double crochets, I'm going to wrap it, put it through the center, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap it, pull through two, double crochet made. I'm going to be doing one more into the center, one more double crochet, okay there's your two double crochets into the center. Then in order to form a corner you're going to chain two, so there's one, there's two, and now you want to do three double crochets into the center of your circle. So we're going to go with one, two, and three. Again, we want to form another corner, so we want to chain two. So one, two, and again, we want to put three double crochets into the center of the ring. And we want to continue to do this till we've got four corners made. So here we go with one. three double crochets. Again we need to form another corner so we want to chain two, one, two, and once again three more double crochets into the center. As you can see here's one corner here, another corner here, this will form our third corner. So three double crochets into the center, there's one, two, and three. Now at this point all we gotta do is chain two. So we want to chain one, chain two. Okay so we chained our last two. I'm gonna drop my tail end and then I'm going to slip stitch to connect it. Um, some people will slip stitch to the t top of their chain too. I don't do that. I will slip stitch into my first double crochet made, into the top of my first double crochet made. So I'm going to slip stitch up here. So I skip the chain and slip stitch to the top of this first one. And then I want to slip stitch into the next one. And then I want to slip stitch into the first corner. And you can see how there's four corners made. Here's one, two, three, four. 
So there's your little mini granny square. So now we're here in the corner and I'm going to just chain up two. So one, two, and then again into the to the center of this corner I want to do two double crochets. So I'm going to go into the center of it, do my first double crochet. And now my second double crochet. And then, of course, we need to continue to keep making a corner, so we want to chain two, one, two, and then again, we want to do three more double crochets into the same corner. So one, two, and three double crochets. Now we're going to be working the side, so we want to chain one, and now we want to work into this corner here. So we want to do three double crochets into the corner, one, two, and three and of course chain two one two because that will form our next corner and then we want to do three more double crochets into the same corner so there was one two and three Again, we want to make a side stitch, so we want to chain one, and then repeat. We want to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all into the next corner. This, is, this would actually be called the next chain two space. So that's three double crochets. There's one. Two and three. Then we need to do our chain two and then three more double crochets all into the same chain two space. There's number three. Again, we want to chain one to form our side. And then repeat three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets all into our last corner, which is our last chain two space. So here we go with one, two, three, chain two. One, there's two, and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And of course, we want to make one more side, so we want to chain one. And here we connect. So again, I will skip my first chain two and I'm going to go into the top of the first double crochet and I am going to slip stitch, slip stitch into the next double crochet and slip and in stitch into the next chain two space which is our corner. And as you can tell our granny square is growing a bit. Okay, we want to chain two, one, two, and again we're working the corner. So in each corner we are going to be doing 
two double crochets because this is the beginning so our first chain two is counted as the first stitch and then now we want to do two double crochets there's one and there's two then we want to chain two and do three double crochets all into the same space. There's one, there's two, and there is three. Then we want to chain one, and now we get to the chain one space which started our side. So the chain one space from the previous row we just want to put three double crochets into that space. So we want to go one, two, and three. Then we want to chain one, and we're back into our corner. So in our corner, we want to do three double crochets chain two, three double crochets. Okay, after the third one you want to chain one and now you're back to another side stitch which is your chain one from the previous row. You want to do three more double crochets into that chain one space. There's one, two, and three. Again, you want to chain one and back at the corner you want to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, again, we want to chain one and do three double crochets in the next chain one space. There's one, two, and three. Then you want to chain one and you're back to your next corner which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Oops, one, two, three, chain two, three more double crochets. Okay, at the end of that, again, you want to chain one, do three double crochets in the next chain one space. After you do your third, you chain one, and here's where we connect it. So, again, you're going to skip your chain two, go into the top of your first double crochet and slip stitch. Go into the next double crochet and slip stitch. And then go into the corner. And here's where I'm going to change my color. So you want to go into the corner and you want to bring up a loop. So you have two loops on the hook. And then what I do is I grab my new color, which is purple. 
And in order to connect it, what I like to do is I get my new color, I tie it around my old color, almost like if you're tying shoes, but I tie the new color. So here's, here's my old color, here's my new color. I'm going to tie it around just like this and I'm going to pull it tight. And then what I want to do is I'm going to pull it down all the way until it's secure next to my work. And then I'm going to drop the old color. I'm going to pick up the new color and I want to pull it through both of the loops on the hook. So here we've got the old color and my tail. And then I'm just going to kind of hold these to the side here. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then I will do two double crochets into the center. Go one. Two, then you want to chain two. Sorry, I had to turn that light on. It just got really dark in my area. The sun must have went by in a cloud, so it got dark. I hope that's not too bright. So anyway, there's my double, two double crochets, my chain two. Now again, I want to do three more double crochets all into the same space. There's one. There's two. And three. Now what I'm going to do is just drop my two ends. I'll also go ahead and cut. You can go ahead and cut your your tail to be even and then continue on. So after you do that you want to chain one and now you're going to be working into your side stitches and in, in each chain one space you want to do three double crochets. Each corner space you want to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Again repeat in your side stitches, you want to do three double crochets in each stitch. And so that's where we're at is the three double crochets. Three. And of course after every three on the side, you want to chain one. And then you want to do one. Two. Three, chain one, work into your side, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. to the corner will be three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Whoops. Okay. 
chain one again on your side you'll do three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one back to the corner three double crochets chain two three double crochets chain one again on your last side you want to do three double crochets chain one and three double crochets in the next two and three chain one and you're back to where you want to connect so slip stitch into the first double crochet slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the corner chain two and repeat that all around again in each corner stitch you want to do three double crochets chain one three double crochets each side stitch you want to do three double crochets in each of those and after each one you want to chain one so it's three chain two three chain one three chain one three chain one three chain two three basically you can go all around and around you can switch colors I love to make baby blankets out of a granny square it works up quick you can change colors um, they're great for the summer months because they have the holes throughout them. Granny squares can be used for many, many things, but I love to make afghans out of them. Any questions, please, please, please email me, comment. Um, I'm here for you, for anybody, not just my mom, it's for anybody. Again, I will be doing more um, easy basic stitches along with Tutorial Thursdays may not be able to do tutorial Thursday every Thursday but when I can do it be on the lookout for it I hope you enjoyed the granny square tutorial any questions again please message me thank you so much